Okay, Larry, the first thing you need to do is open your Expressit SC, that's your label making software that we install on your computer. Uh, once you get that open, you're going to see a screen that looks a lot like this. And the first thing you want to do is go ahead and click on New. It's in the upper left hand corner up there. And once you select New, you should be end up getting a screen that looks like this, which is just a template for your uh, CDs uh, labels. And it's a two up templates, meaning there's one at the top left, one at the bottom right. The uh, <coughs> outlines for the square boxes are just for uh, VHS cases and CD cases on the side. Forget that stuff. Uh, we're just going to work on the CD disc labels today. Okay, so once you get to that point, you need to import an image. So uh, select import on your image. And uh, you're going to have to find those images that I sent you on your computer wherever you saved them. This is just a typical file uh, browser window. And in my example here, I'm using your disk 9 label. And so I'm going to select that. And once I select your disk 9 label, you'll see over in the right hand corner, you get a little image, thumbnail image of the label. And then I'm going to click OK. And when I click OK, you'll find that there's a uh, little thumbnail of that label in your um, on your screen there and what you want to do you want to drag that you want to click on it and drag it okay you're going to drag that image down and on top uh, actually actually let's put this one on top let's just drag it over to the uh, template and you want to find it somewhere in the center of the template just put it in there anyway just as long as it's in the template okay and once you get it in the template, then you're going to click your, your screen that says, uh, I mean, your button on the top left of your screen that says Fit 2. Okay, you click on Fit 2, and what's going to happen is uh, <clears throat> the, the handles are going to disappear around the, uh, the image that you put in there. And now you want to click the image. And when you click the image, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, you've got your, your graphic that's just perfectly fit to your uh, CD template. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click on uh, import image again over on the left hand side and you're going to select that same image again. And when you select that image again, you'll still see your thumbnail. It'll be just like last time and it will appear again on your uh, template somewhere. Now I got my screen minimized a little bit so that we can all get this on this video so the, the positioning of your template and the images may be a little different on your screen but but the idea still remains the same. All you got to do is wherever it lands is center the image, drag this drag the image over and center it uh, you want to drag it down and center it on the template, the second template in the lower right. Okay, and once you get it down in the center template, again you've got your handles and you're going to click on the Fit 2 button one more time. When you click on Fit 2, the handles will go away and it's just sitting there over your template. And then you're going to click on that image again. And when you click on that image, uh, the same thing happens, it expands and fills up the template. So now you've got an image in each uh, of the disk templates and you're ready to save your uh, project. One of the things you want to do before you save your project is go up there and select CD and you want to select full face because that's the type of template we have. So select full face and then you want to uh, save your image. I mean, save your project. And I just saved it as Larry Battle Disc 9. You can save it anything you want to. Uh, the save button's up on the left hand menu, the third button from your left. Okay, once you click save, then you're ready to print. You can click the print button, which is up on the top left also. You click the print button, you say okay. 
And it should print for you. Uh, two labels on one uh, on one one sheet of uh, disc labels. Uh, if that works for you, you just do the same thing every time. If this doesn't work for you, then we've got to come up with another solution, which probably means I might have to print you some, and you're just going to have them copied there because I don't know what else I can do to to make this work for you. So anyway, good luck with this, Larry.